This video will serve as a general guide for Vengeance as a Burning Plague in the Spirit Island board game. When I first played the Spirit, I noticed the high complexity rating, and looking at the board, didn't really see why it had such a high complexity. It turns out the special rules for this Spirit takes the fundamentals of Spirit Island that everyone has been learning up to this point, and flips it on its head. Usually we don't like getting Blight or our presence destroyed, but here Blight is good, and getting our presence destroyed also helps us. So let's take a closer look at the spirit board. You can generate fear by opting out of the disease token effect. When presence is destroyed, you can add a disease token, and blight is treated as badlands. The spirit needs lots of disease tokens on the board, and the easiest way to do that is to have invaders destroy your presence with a ravage. Additionally, a lot of your powers need disease tokens for targeting, so you can't always target lands that you need to. When playing the spirit, a lot of your decisions will be influenced by the starting board state, which lands ravage, which lands start with your presence, and which land starts with the disease token. On turn 1, you don't have much you can do with targeting other than placing a disease token with fetid breath spreads infection. If the first explorer incurs in one of your land, you can potentially play fiery vengeance on turn 1 since you start out with a presence already destroyed. The innates both have three element thresholds so it would be nice to get the fire and animal elements uncovered on the growth tracks. Here, I'm just going to play one card and use the growth option 2 to place two presents where the starting town and city are. Place the new disease token in a land that just explored and can benefit from plague bearers on turn 2. Turn 2, I'm going to place two presents again and place them in the lands that just built. I don't have two disease tokens to take advantage of both plague bearers and strike low with sudden fevers and the explored jungle started with my presence in it, so I want to play Fiery Vengeance. I'm electing to place the two presents from the top track to uncover the three energy gain, since the Savage Revenge innate doesn't give me much immediate benefit. At this point I have wetlands that are going to build, and I only have Strike Low with Sun Fevers. I think any of the three growth options are viable here. You can maybe place two presents and not care about another Blight, or place a disease with growth option 3 to prevent a build. I personally would want to reclaim here and play Plague Bearers and Fetid Breath again to place another disease and deal with a built land. To conclude, I want to emphasize how much this spirit depends on board state. Think ahead about how you're going to get disease tokens on the board and try to manage your blight as best as possible. If you do get a blighted island, that just gives you more opportunities to place more blight kill free. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.